<laughs> hey guys, it's Suresh. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning into another video with me today. Thanks to one of you guys, I finally got a hold of the 2013 ball gown Barbie doll. She has this beautiful turquoise gown that has black accents on it. Seeing as though I was not able to get her on Barbie Collector when she was out, I've kind of been on the hunt ever since. I've had my eye on her for a while across many different retailers and um, a few weeks ago, I got an email from one of you letting me know that she was on sale. So obviously, I ran on over to Target.com and placed my order. So here she is. Yay, yay, yay. Barbie Fashion Model Collection 2013. This is going to be extra special for me because um, I've done a number of videos recently um, of Integrity Toys dolls and as much as I love those dolls there's just something very special about the um, BFMC collection that I love so much and it's been a hot minute since I did a Silkstone review. So without further ado let's get her open and see what she's all about. So excited! Oh my god! I see her dress! And y'all know I love some turquoise honey! <laughs> Here is the ribbon you guys know that I love undoing that. Oh, <laughs> there is nothing in the world that feels quite as special as undoing that ribbon for the first time. If you guys know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about, okay? All right, so, <laughs> here we go. One, two, and three. <gasps> oh my God. Wow, oh my God. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes, and the earrings and the gloves. Oh, and this off the shoulder business. <laughs> Living. Look at that beautiful face. Oh my god. She does have a hairnet on, which every Silkstone does, and we love that it also covers their face most of the time. Her dress, oh my God, it's just magnificent, you guys. It's so neatly done. This beautiful, beautiful, rich turquoise color is everything. It really is a gorgeous ball skirt, let me tell you. And I have been wondering what kind of shoes she's had, so let's take a peek. Oh, mama, they're black, wow, okay living oh my gosh look at this underskirt oh wow i read that she has a petticoat detail and my goodness yes she does look at this gorgeous little bow detail around her waist oh my god absolutely love and then here is the back of the box she is a gold label doll and she's limited to 5200 pieces worldwide all right guys let's dig in good old days of their certificate of authenticity not being taped to the box but right behind her um inner carton and there are also her care instructions right underneath that she does have standard silkstone packaging in the back she's tied down with black ribbons and these were the days where the doll stand was actually put um, behind their legs inside the inner carton versus now they're on the back of the box here on an inset. I'm gonna go ahead and start untying these ribbons here so we can free our beauty. Oh my god. It is like 5,000 degrees in here right now. The moment I turn these lights on that are not supposed to give out heat, it is boiling hot. Isn't that always how it is? Always, right? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, darling. Welcome to my home after so long. <laughs> Here is her doll stand in the box. It is a standard weighted black silkstone base with the clear saddle stand here in the corner. For the millionth time, you all know that I don't really use these, so I'm going to keep it right in the box here. Oh my god, she's so pretty. I don't even know where to start. I don't even know where to start. As you can see, the hem is a little bit wrinkled, and because the dress is like tucked like this behind her um, in the box, they always have this weird um, uh, buckle here, which I have to sort out. Let's go ahead and quickly take off her hairnet here. Ah. Ta -da! This is a much thicker fabric than I'm used to seeing on Silkstones, I have to say, and I absolutely love it. I mean, after all, it is a ball gown, so let's keep it real. Um, no point making a ball gown out of a chintzy fabric, let me tell you. I absolutely love 
love the way this bodice is created. This doll is like perfection. I knew I was going to love her, but like, I'm like, st like struck for words. Wow, wow, wow. I love this really dramatic, almost drag-like blue eye that she's got going on. <laughs> Gorge, right? Not only does she have like light blue, green, almost turquoisey eyes, she also has beautiful layers and layers of blue, turquoise, and light blue eyeshadow on with some navy there in the crease and a bright white underneath her brow. Look at those fierce eyebrows, yes queen. Her hair right out of the hairnet is beautiful. I will use a little bit of hairspray to just kind of tame some of these flyaways a little bit. Um, she also has the same earrings that Little Red Dress did, I believe, except hers are in silver. She has a very, very faint bit of blush on and a gorgeous red lip. Look how beautiful this bodice is. I love this little sheer black sheath on top that then drops into this very, very structured and tailored bodice. That little brooch, look at that. It's like a three-dimensional flower. Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing here? It really is so, so magnificent. I love all the top stitching detail here on the bra cups and look how beautiful and fitted that waist is. I mean, wow. This fabric is absolutely gorgeous. It's a nice, rich, thick satin. Um, it is a polyester blend. She has a beautiful red manicure that matches her lip color, absolutely stunning. Take a look at her petticoat down here. How beautiful is that? It is a single layered underskirt that comes down from her waist all the way to the floor and then there is a ruffle that is ruched and attached right around mid-calf area and then that ruffle is edged in this beautiful black satin and it's giving it a nice piped structure here which just makes it look so exquisite here's her dress from the back you can see the fastenings are nicely done and sewn in quite neatly. You can see how thick the fabric is, like for example, right here, um, when it's folded in and folded over. I mean, it's done so, so neatly and so beautifully. So kudos on that, Mattel. The bow does come off with a little piece of Velcro, just like so, ta-da. Here she is without the bow, and you can see that it definitely does add um, a little point of interest to the waist there, and I actually like it there a lot because now we see that um, there are a few different seam lines here, and we can see that the skirt is indeed attached to the bodice right here. Not uncommon of a ball gown at all. Um, however, when the bow was there, you couldn't see that at all. So I think I kind of like it with the bow on. And this top little chiffon, chiffon, what the? Here is our gorgeous lady of the hour in the buff so you can see what her beautiful silkstone body looks like and how excited are we to see a classic traditional silkstone body right <laughs> especially because we haven't seen some silkstones here on my channel for a hot minute she has beautiful caramel mocha ish skin complexion i would say yep she's pretty much my exact color so this also is me as a doll. <laughs> she does have black pantyhose on with the traditional silkstone black line that goes down her leg. Here are her beautiful little silkstone shoes. They are slingback heels, very traditional of almost all silkstones that we saw in 2013 and 14 and even 15. And I am not even complaining about it because y'all know that I love these little shoes. I find them to be so chic and just so fabulous, yes. And once you take the shoes off, you can see her beautiful red pedicure. It matches her gorgeous little red manicure perfectly, which matches her beautiful red lips just perfectly. So the brooch is um, affixed to the gown with a little bit of clear thread here. Um, I do see the spike coming through from the flower kind of clutching onto the fabric. So I'm not gonna try and take that out. I have no reason to, so that's fine. And then let's just take a look here at the inside. Look how magnificent that looks. You would never know if you didn't know this was a doll review that this was a doll dress. <laughs> Looking at it right now, right? I mean, look how beautifully all the seams are done. Look at how many panels are in here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven panels all together. And look how nicely the seam allowance here has been ironed down. That's just so beautiful. And you can see all the little notches in here. 
which is so, so cool. Um, really feels like an atelier piece. Now the bodice is not lined. Um, I'm actually not mad about that. I like that I can see all these little details. Um, look how the bra cups are actually made with a different piece of fabric. And um, you can see all the little seams where the little black chiffon piece here was attached. Down here in the waist, you can see that uh, the skirt portion was attached right here um, at the drop waistline and that's nice and neatly done. I absolutely am so, so gaga for this beautiful trim that travels all the way across her chest here. Just so beautiful. Oh. This is the perfect, perfect fabric for this construction, I will say. I like the big, bold snaps back here. Because the fabric is thick and because it is a very tight-fitting silhouette, um, we definitely need a little bit more power here in the fasteners. So I am not at all mad that they are nice and big um, snaps. And then looking here more at the skirt, um, you see that it is one large panel of fabric that is then seamed here at the back. We can see her sweet little um, Barbie fashion model tag there. And then looking down here at the hem, I have to say this is really, really nicely done. It's made to look like um, the whole gown was lined because you can't see any sort of a uh, thread or seam line here. So that means the bottom hem here was um, edged off to keep it from fraying and then it was um, what I believe is glued down or um, interfaced down here and I have no issues with that. It does feel nice and stiff so that when the gown is um, standing upright it has a nice crisp finished look to it. So I absolutely love that so much you guys. And then the seam here on the back um, it's not pressed down, it should have been really, and I think I will just press it down and open it as I iron um, this uh, bottom of the skirt here. But that's the only thing that I would say about that um, in terms of all the other construction elements I absolutely love and am very, very happy with this. Here's a close-up of her little ribbon belt. Um, it does affix on the back here with a little piece of Velcro, and I believe they did Velcro so that they can keep it flat um, without any buckle here from any sort of a large fastener. Um, it is made of a black satin. It feels nice and thick and it does have a beautiful gleam to it. Um, the two tails here are quite long and they are finished off here at the bottom. So that is quite nice. Our favorite thick silk satin um, silk stone glove. There's a little bit of elastic here ruching one side of it so that it gives it some shape and some support. Um, absolutely love. Nothing wrong I can say about these gloves. Y'all know I am a sucker for silkstone gloves. <laughs> so there we have it, you guys. This is the absolutely exquisite ball gown Barbie doll from the 2013 BFMC collection. I have reviewed the entire collection that I have before. I was waiting for her to come in someday, and here she is, so I'm thrilled to be adding her to my collection. If you guys are interested, be sure to run on over to Target.com. I'll paste the link down below of where I got her and hopefully you guys can add her to your collection as well. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that you learned something. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you hit that little bell icon after the subscribe button. That way you're notified every Thursday when I upload a new video. Add me on Instagram. I am at SureshNY. That's generally where I post all my updates. Until I see you guys again, Barbie and I are gonna head on over to the Hudson River. We're gonna hop on that dinner cruise with the rest of our gal pals, and we're gonna have a fabulous sunset cruise here. Um, on this beautiful fall day in New York City. <laughs> Wherever you are in the world, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Big hugs and kisses for me and Barbie here in New York. Mwah! I'll see you guys again next Thursday for another video, okay? Bye!